Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I appreciate your subscribe. If you're crew here, you already know how we vibe. Do remember, sharing is daring to wake your friends up out of the matrix. So share this content with someone you want to see on the other side of this simulation. Now you know I love it when you hit the like button. Do it for the algorithm. That way I'll grow with them. Now let's watch these clips. <laughs> question is what happened to the bike messenger that's why you really got to be on point with your life insurance coverage anything can happen and more and more anything is happening where's your family at once you're gone no you're supposed to use life insurance while you're alive it's called life insurance not death insurance let me show you why so imagine your life insurance policy is a house you see every time you make a payment on your house you build equity in the house you can then use that equity for whatever you want by getting a home equity line of credit. See, but life insurance is way better. Check this out. With life insurance, when you put money in, you build equity in the form of cash value. That cash value is guaranteed to grow 100% tax-free. Now, if you like me, you're looking at these beautiful people and being like, Ugh. What a scam. That's why I did more digging and found this. Regular people buy life insurance for the death benefit, while millionaires, billionaires, banks, and corporations, they buy life insurance for the life benefit. Allow me to explain because I'm sure that you didn't know that you could actually use life insurance for the life benefit. Now, the creepy part about that is when we run into this. Life insurance is a scam is what a man once told me. His family purchased a policy and he had it for 15 years. And because his health changed, he couldn't get it back after he missed one payment. Life insurance is a binding contract that allows you to be covered as long as you don't miss your premiums. And that's called a lapse. I've long heard that life insurance was a scam, but at the same time, my wife got life insurance from her uncle who worked for the government. Now, maybe it's because he worked for the government, but the bottom line is life insurance absolutely does work. Why do they tell us people who don't know either way, whether it works or doesn't work to keep us from getting it? Now, this topic takes a lot of research. I'll do the research for you. Join the channel for less than a dollar a month i'll do videos specifically about what i found you can then take that information and flip it to live your best life because i really thought you needed life insurance for when you die come to find out no you can use your life insurance right now while you alive Psh, mess around build me an underground bunker out this piece you know not enough people are talking about a24's new movie civil war the film follows kristen dunst as she navigates this dystopian future where yes the united states is in their second civil war and don't assume that this movie is some political movie about red versus blue because get this in this future, the United States is divided into five different factions. The New People's Army, the Loyalist States, the Florida Alliance. I mean, the Florida Alliance makes sense. Give it a couple years and this will be real. And the Western forces between Texas and California. California and Texas are allies. I can see why the country is in chaos. So rest assured, this film is fiction. I feel like most war movies usually adapt some historic battle from the past, so making this take place in a dystopian future is very unique. Allegedly, it's fiction. You guys put it in the comments, because I heard something about... <laughs> I'm also glad that the director Alex Garland did not make this film about red versus blue because I did not need that in my life. Rather, this movie questions the idea of even having any good guys or bad guys. A24 Civil War will be releasing on April 12th, 2024, so let me know if you're watching. Yeah, I'll be watching it. After hearing what could only be described as a judgment trumpet coming from outside while the storm is wailing, he tries to calm his daughter by telling her it's okay. It's okay, baby. But then he captures something even more bizarre. An unidentified flying object whips past his balcony. Whatever this thing was, it was going in the opposite direction of the wind at crazy insane speeds. And to make it even more frightening, a 
immediately after the object flies by, another loud sound comes from the sky. So how do you explain this? What was the object flying by their balcony? And what were the sounds coming from the sky outside from within the storm? The sounds, I don't got a clue, but we do know demons can fly, right? We know that demons can shapeshift, right? I'm not saying it was a demon. I'm saying it's getting spooky out here and we're living in the last days. We all know that, right? To my atheists, we know that we're living in the last days, right? A woman with the username Shondaland Store captures something extremely eerie at 3.30 a.m. outside of her apartment in Houston, Texas. It's a weird sound been going on for like every minute or so. An extremely loud, bass-heavy roar could be heard every minute or two filling the entire night sky, and it went on for nearly two hours. Stop eating when the sun is setting. When you chew, chew until it becomes a liquid. Your digestive system can't digest chunks of food. The sun powers your digestive system and your body. When the sun is not present and you eat something, this is going to cause problems within your digestive system. Stop mixing foods. Mixing animal flesh with potato and bread will cause the food to solidify within your stomach, leading to constipation and the birth of parasites within your body. Acne is undigested food coming through your skin. The digestive system cannot digest all of the toxins, so it has to find a way out and it comes through the skin. Your cells are electric. Your brain is electric. Your central nervous system is electric. Well, the song does say it's electric. And you are electromagnetic. The body runs off electricity. It is an electrical machine. Therefore, your body and your cells needs to be charged by electric food, which is grown under the electric sun. Sun's rays crystallize within the food that is grown underneath the sun. This is why you can see the glowing aura of an apple compared to a slice of flesh. This is dead. You do not want dead things within your body. It will not charge you. Your teeth are not made to rip open flesh. Veganism rearranged is saving me. And your intestines are not like a lion's or a dog's. All the legends in the past knew this and this is why they were all vegan. Well that changes things a little bit, especially when I'm thinking about my health insurance. You don't have health well, insurance? No. <laughs> why? Do, are you on your parents? Yes. Oh, congratulations. What okay, are you going to do? I'm get my own. How? With my money. How? What do you mean? How? Who do you call? To get health insurance? Yeah. Uh, someone who provides health insurance? What is this question? What do you mean? Are you saying because <laughs> you don't know how? I don't know how! Why don't you ask Lud's parents? Or your dad? I come from a very Republican family that if the, Dude, and you go to the doctor so often, I can't believe you don't have health insurance. I did right? not know this, this sounds like a lecture that I didn't expect. I did not. I did not. You go so often. I know, but I'm limited because I get really stressed because I don't have any resources and I get really confused. It's the same reason that I went to culinary school instead of normal college. No one prepped me. My family abandoned me. I didn't know. All of a sudden, junior year of high school is like, I got accepted into Harvard. I got accepted into MIT. And I'm like, wait, we were supposed to submit stuff. I had no clue. No one told me, everyone forgot about me. Jane, you ignorant slut. <laughs> in this brand new horror game, we are lost in a forest trying to find missing people. But to make it a little more challenging, the game can hear every little thing that comes through this mic. Wait, this is a game? This is what I thought they was gonna use AI for. Once the sun sets, the monsters come out and they try and jump scare us as much as possible. So we gotta try our absolute hardest not to scream. This game isn't for everyone, but if you do see my profile pic glowing red, it does mean I'm live. So if you have the courage to join us, get in here now, but be quiet, because I'll hear you. Look how friendly he looks. We're besties. Babe, can I keep him? No, you can't fucking keep him. Babe, he's drooling out of his fucking mouth. Ooh. Ooh. Now, I think this woman is beautiful. 
unfortunately, beauty isn't the only thing for you guys in the comments. Oh, well, she's probably got a nice personality. Does she? Am I the prettiest girl in the world? No, but do I have a rocking body to make up for that? No, again, but do I have stable mental health to round it all out so it doesn't even matter? No, again, baby. So let's review. She's not stable mentally, clearly, because she picked up the stray animal from the highway, and you think she's worth being in a relationship with. I told you, women were our trap, because a lot of us guys, even me, I would be like, you know what? It's, uh, there are men watching this right now that would rationalize. It's only, at least she's not bringing raccoons in here. Well, she did bring that raccoon that one time. Well, at least she's not bringing stray dogs. Well, there was that time she had brought that coyote in the house. What? What? Oh. What was that? You guys. What you got? Raiding on the moon? I got that. I got that. Shoot lightning bolts for people? <laughs> Everybody on his street was outside because the moon was changing colors. What? What? What was that? You guys. I got that. I got that. I don't know what that was but where do you go when the moon is farting lightning bolts jeez man what else would you tell people that there is abundant opportunity in if they'll just go grab it electricians electricians are in super short supply plumbers steam fitters pipe fitters heating and air conditioning guys i mean i can't even tell you if if you're not making six figures and you're in that space you're either just getting started or you're unwilling to go to where the work is. Women, why are you not plumbers, pipe fitters, electricians? I saw a woman electrician once in 40 years of life. Woman plumbers, never. And I'm just curious if it's all even, Stephen, fair and square, why are you not getting into those lines of work? But even then, I mean, the work is pretty much everywhere. You wanna hear some really horrible math? The number that scares me more than 1.7 trillion in student loans is, is five. Every year, for every five tradesmen who retire to replace them. Now that's been gone on for over a decade. And when you start to just extrapolate that out, what you realize real fast is this is not just a conversation about companies who are struggling to recruit talent or kids who are struggling to find a path to prosperity. This is a conversation about how long Clay Travis and Buck Sexton want to wait for a plumber when they need one or an electrician. Every single person listening to this has skin in the game because every one of your audience members shares my addiction to smooth roads and affordable electricity <laughs> and indoor plumbing and a long list yeah. of other stuff that we've been taking for granted long before dirty jobs went on the air. Does that explain why the migrants are coming over? Because they're going to do this stuff that Americans don't want to do? Hmm. Women who pastor, women who preach in a church are a disgrace and they openly reflect opposition to the clear command of the Word of God. As in all the churches of the saints, the women are to keep silent in the churches. They're not permitted to speak. It's disgraceful for a woman to speak. It might be shocking to you to know this, but in a survey conducted in 2017, about 80% of Americans are comfortable with a female pastor. 62% of practicing Christians are open to women pastors. 27% of pastors across this country are women. This is an explosion. In 1960, 2% of clergy were women. The women's movement has basically just erupted in the church. That says Timothy 2, 11 to 14, a woman must quietly receive instruction with entire submissiveness. Shh. 
but I do not allow a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. Sorry, feminists. Your Bible says stop being so masculine. Yes, Lord. At least with me. You can be masculine with my second or third wife. Oh, but wait. It doesn't matter that the father of faith, Abraham, had two wives. Oh, right. Paul, who wasn't ordained by anyone, fixed the Old Testament when he came in. But does God's word need fixing? This is where it starts to get confused for me. I do believe in Christianity. I believe that Jesus was existed. It's just some of the stuff I'd be like, eh. Last frontier for the movement is the evangelical church. Last frontier to fall victim to the rebellion of feminism along with cultural Marxism. Perhaps women pastors and women preachers are the most obvious evidence of churches rebelling against the Bible. Well, maybe women aren't becoming electricians and plumbers and pipe fitters because they want to teach people. Because you get a hefty pay being a preacher. But then if you don't like Jesus that much, I guess you can do this. I'm gonna predict the next 72 hours for you. So if I was you, I'd watch. You know, I'd be curious too. Like, what is this girl with tarot cards gonna say of how the next 72 hours is gonna, is gonna be for me? Like, no, you not a psychic. <laughs> this here is not CERN, okay? This is not CERN. This is the opening ceremony of the Gotthard Tunnel in Switzerland. <laughs> A little further away from CERN. It's amazing how many people confuse this ceremony with CERN. Is there a connection between the two? Because if you look at this picture here, yeah, it looks like just a tunnel. CERN is a, is a tube, okay? And Godhard Tunnel is a tunnel. Okay, there are two tubes, right? I don't know why you would put gold horns uh, as a costume for, for an opening ceremony, right? And this year was at CERN. Okay. This year, this year was at CERN, so that's why you maybe think that both uh, were CERN, but not, it's not. This year is CERN, and the footage before was uh, at So that druid Masonic looking like ritual was at... Hmm. Who knows why they was doing that? Hmm. Interesting. Do you still think these giant craters are caused by asteroids? Yes, I, I, I do. Honestly. Aw, uh, that's sweet. Well, if you don't want that fantasy ruined for you, I wouldn't keep watching. Let's start by looking how many of these craters have been found. And the Google machine says 190, but I've seen... Lucifer, the light bearer. I don't think Lucifer was an angel. I just don't. And I don't believe angels have free will. I just don't. There's some things in the Bible that, that kind of align with other things I've heard in other ancient texts. And then there's other things that just don't align. And then there's books of the Bible. We don't even know who wrote them. I don't know which books have been changed. I don't know which books have been mistranslated. I don't know which books was written by which person. I don't know which books were voted in. I don't know which books were voted out. I can't even make myself accept the book of Enoch because that's not the way the Bible was given to me when I first was learning about the Bible. Is that my fault? The question is, who decided it shouldn't be in there? Why did they decide it shouldn't be in there? And what was so catastrophic about its inclusion that they decided 
we can't let people know this. Anyway, that's all we got for today. Tune in again. We'll do it again.